Yes, Jehovah. We acknowledge we belong to you. We acknowledge you, our God and our Master, this morning. Hallelujah. We honor you, Holy One of Israel. Oh, El Gibo, Poke Autukufu. Where when El Gibo, Unaweza Maboyote, you are the controller. Jehovah, you are supremacy. We acknowledge this morning. We acknowledge the, the, the sovereignty of God Almighty. Hallelujah. We acknowledge the majesty of God Almighty. Hallelujah. Jehovah tukikili ya kwamba wewe ni bwana. Yes, Jehovah. Mm. Hallelujah. The supremacy of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. worship you this morning Jehovah joined by these great people from different parts of the world tumeungamma na watu wako asubuhi ya leo tuwakuheshimu wewe ni Mungu mm. 
Hawawezi liganishwa na wewe Jehova. Join me in the spirit and we honor God. Yeye ni Bwana. He is above everything else. Hallelujah. We honor you, our God and our Master. We honor your majesty this morning. Wewe ni bwana juu ya mabwana. Hakuna mungu mwingine alie kama wewe. Hakuna weza liganisho nawe Jehovah. We join this morning to honor you. We join this morning to acknowledge you. We join this morning to exhort you. We join this morning, <coughs> hallelujah, to adore the Holy One of Israel. Wewe ni Mungu wetu. Wewe ni Bwana juu ya mabwana. Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. Hakuna nguvu zingine kama zako. Huwezi linganishwa na chochote kile. Utukuzwe milele Jehova. Wewe ni Mungu juu ya miungu. Hakuna awezae linganishwa nawe. We acknowledge your goodness. This morning that has followed us. We acknowledge your majesty. This Tuesday Jehovah. Kwa we manane mayako, you have blot us, O Jehovah. Hallelujah. To the 23rd day in the month of January. Mungu mekua mwe makwetu. Yu mekua mwe makwetu Jehovah. U metu onekania Jehovah. U metu lida. U metu hifadhi. U metu ezesha kuona siku ya leo. Katika taifa la Kenya. U meamusha watu wako. Wakiwa maineo tofauti. In the 47 counties. Tunasema wewe ni mungu. Hakuna lie kama wewe Jehovah. Hakuna weza liganisho nawe Jehovah. U wabudiwe milele. Wewe ni buwana. Juu ya mabuwana. Na Jehova, juu ya miungu ingine yote, hakuna weza liganishwa nawe, wewe ni mugu mkuu, hakuna weza liganishwa nawe, wewe ni teremeo Jehova, hakuna weza liganishwa nawe, wewe unaweza maboyote, hakuna weza liganishwa nawe, katika jina la Yesu, na siya subu ya leo, tunakiria kwamba wewe ni mungu, juu ya maboyote, na hakuna weza liganisho nawe. Na hakuna weza e kama wewe. Na hakuna mungu kama wewe. Na hakuna guvu kama zako. Na hakuna weza kama wako. Na hakuna alie kama wewe. Wewe ni mungu mkuu. Wewe ni mungu tegemeo. Wewe ni mungu tumaini. Katika jina la Yesu. Tua inama kukushujudu. Katika jina la Yesu. Tua inama kukuheshimu. Roho wa mungu wa subu ya leo. Tua inama kukuheshimu. Roho wa mungu dhani. Dani yetu, wewe ni mungu, tuwa kuinua, tuwa kueshimu wa subu ya leo, tunakiria kwamba wewe ni mungu, Jehova kwa uwepo wako, kwa guvu zako, dani yetu Jehova, mahala tuko mungu, tuwa kueshimu Jehova, we honor you this morning. Wewe ni buwana jiwa mabuwana, hakuna alie kama wewe mungu wa miungu, hakuna weza liganishwa nawe Jehova. We acknowledge you. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the King of Kings. We give you glory. We give you glory, Jehovah. We give you glory for all that you are. 
We give you glory, Father, that you will do this morning. We give you glory, Father, that you will do this week. We give you glory for your majesty. We give you glory for your goodness. We give you glory for your power. We give you glory for the divine visitation. We give you glory for your faithful. Asante Jehovah. We are alive. We are alive. We have seen a new day. A Tuesday, 23rd, oh hallelujah, of January. You are God Almighty of our lives. We honor you this morning. We honor you. Father, different parts of Africa, umekuwa mwema kwetu, hatuwezi kueleza Jehovah, we honor you. Every part of Africa, you are God Almighty, you reign, O oh God, unashugulikia watu wako. Wakiwa maeneo baribari in Africa Utukuzwe mungu wa miungu Ueshimiwe mungu wa miungu Una Lida watu wako Ume wahifadhi Jehovah Ume tuwezesha kuona siku hii We honor you holy one of Israel Utukuzwe milele Jehovah Oh hallelujah Ume wahifadhi watu wako Jehovah Wakiwa different parts Hallelujah of Asia Tua kueshimu Jehovah Hmm Kuna walio na guvu mingi Jehova katika ulimwengu huu. Lakini hawawezi linganishwa nawe Jehova. Inaisha tu akili ya kwamba wewe ni Mungu. Yes we declare that you are God. Hallelujah. Wako, wako wengi, walio na guvu, wanaojulikana, walio na pesa mingi, lakini hawawezi liganishwa nawe Jehova. This morning we choose to honor you. This morning we choose to adore you. This morning 5:45 in the morning, we choose to exalt your holy name. We choose to adore your holy name. We choose to magnify your holy name. Wewe ni Mungu pamoja na jamii zetu. Wewe ni Mungu pamoja na taifa letu. Wewe ni Mungu pamoja na watu wako wakiwa different parts of Asia. Wewe ni Mungu na leader watu wako. Umewaamsha hawa in different parts of Asia. Pokea utukufu wewe ni Jehova. Umewaamsha watu wako. Mungu in different parts of Europe. Tazama watu wako. Tazama guvu zako. Umewahifadhi. You have allowed them to be here. Jehova kwa sababu wewe ni mkuu. Asante kwa watu wako in different parts of Europe. Hawawezi Kunaweza liganishwa nawe Utukuzwe milele Jehovah You are good and faithful You are good and merciful father We honor you Jehovah We honor you king of all glory We honor you holy one of Israel We honor you Jehovah We honor you God almighty You are God over your people You are God over your people in Europe You are God over your people Jehovah You are God over your people in America You are God over your people in Asia in Australia. You are God over these people in Canada. You are God over these people. Different parts of the world. Northern South America. Nasi tunakili asubui ya leo. Hawakuna aweza liganishwa nawe. We honor you. There is no other God who is like our God. And so this morning we bow at your majesty and we declare you are El Gibo Jehovah. 
We bow at your feet this morning and we declare in the name of Jesus, you are our faithful God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah 33 and verse 3 that we call unto you. And this early morning, we are calling unto thee, Jehovah, to adore you. We are calling unto thee, Jehovah, this morning to start with you, to adore you, to acknowledge your heart upon us, to acknowledge your majesty, to acknowledge your goodness upon us, to acknowledge your faithfulness, O oh God. We bow this morning to Natabua ya kwamba wewe ni mungu katika maisha yetu. Na hawezi liganisho na chochote kile. We honor you. We honor you for being, for who you are. In your holiness, you answer prayers. <coughs> because you are so holy. In your holiness, you cannot assume your children. And so we come at your feet this morning to acknowledge your sovereignty, that you rule Psalm 99 and verse 1. Jehovah, you reign. Let the earth tremble. Jehovah, you reign on earth. You reign in heaven. Jehovah, you reign. Jehovah, you reign in heaven and on earth. Jehovah, you reign over our lives. Jehovah, you reign. We acknowledge your supremacy. Kanababosataya. Kwa gufu zako na we mawako. We declare this morning, Father, that you reign in the name of Jesus. You reign in heaven. You reign on earth. You reign under the face of the earth. <coughs> May the earth treble. Bako shatelia na baboria na masitaya. Let the earth tremble. Let the peoples of the world tremble. Let the people of the world tremble. Because Jehovah, King of all glory, reigns. We acknowledge your majesty. We acknowledge your supremacy this morning. We are coming to pray for Kenya. Mungu na kabra ya kutanja mambo mawili matatu ya Kenya. Tunatabua ya kwamba it is you God who reigns. It is you, God, who reigns in the name of Jesus. You don't need us to be God, but we can do nothing without you. You don't need us to be you, <laughs> but we can do nothing extremely without you. YouTubers, are, are you there? Video ya YouTube naona ina turn hivi, ina hida ki turn. I, I hope we are still there. Jehovah wewe ni buwana juu ya mabuwana, hakuna mungu walie kama wewe. You reign... You ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign in Kenya, 47 counties. You reign in our lives, in our families. You reign where we minuliwa Jehovah. In the lives of our, of, our, of our parents, in the lives of our spouses, in the lives of our children, in the lives of our brothers and sisters, in the lives of our nieces and nephews, in the lives of our grandchildren, in the lives, the life of our president. Oh, Dr. William Rusomoy Ruto, in his life you reign. In the life of the, 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 the first lady 
Oh, Mama Rachel Ruto Jehovah, you reign. You reign in Makatara Babo Sataya. You reign in the life of our deputy president. Moheshimi Warigadi Gashagua. You reign over his life, oh God. You reign over the life of Reverend Dorcas. You reign over their families. You reign over their agendas. You reign over their lives, oh God. You reign over the government. You reign, Jehovah, we honor you this morning. You reign, oh God. God Almighty over the presidency. You reign over judiciary. You reign over the legislature, Jehovah. The county government. You reign over the church of Christ. You reign over our lives. You reign over the life of Lucy Wagojiri. You reign in Mama Katayaraba. You reign in Kona Mama Setea. You reign in Mama Sitayaraba. You reign in Mama Kutarababoria. You reign, oh God Almighty. You reign in in our homes you rule in our homes you rule in the schools you rule mahali watoto wetu wanaenda kusoma you rule you reign and you rule in schools <laughs> In the learning institutions, <laughs> you reign, you rule in hospitals, and there is mass exodus. What do I now power wakipona? Because you reign and you rule in hospitals, Karababo Sitaya. You reign, Jehovah. You rule on the roads. What do I kwa barabara? You reign, Mama Kari Ariba. You rule, oh God Almighty, in the law institutions in Kenya. Ah, Mama Kuria Babo Sitaya. In the funds operating in Kenya, in the banks you rule, oh Jehovah. You rule, my Redeemer. In the lives of the CEOs you rule. You rule, my God, my Redeemer. You reign, you are God Almighty. We acknowledge your reign. You ancient Zion's King. On a Tuesday morning, worship from your children, Jehovah. Acknowledgement from your children in Kenya, 47 counties in Asia, in Africa, Yote Jehovah, the neighboring nations in Kenya, uh, neighboring Kenya, Africa, Yote Mungu, Wewe ni Jehovah, you reign in Asia, Jehovah, Asia, Yote Wewe ni Mungu. You reign, you reign over the economy of Africa, over the economy of Asia. You reign in Europe, what wana muka usiku, Jehovah kutafuta uso wako. Their lives will never be the same again, ama Korea, ama Setaya. You reign over Europe, you reign over the economy of Europe, you reign over America, you reign over the peoples and the economy of America. You reign, O oh Jehovah. You reign, King of all glory. You reign over Asia, you are over Canada and the economy of Canada. You reign over North and South America and over the economy of South and North America. You reign in Australia. <coughs> Kwa watu hawa wako waliamuka mapema Australia. Kwa watu wabao hawa jarara in America. You reign, O oh God Almighty. You Asian Zion's King. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign in my life, my heart, O oh Jehovah, as we join the ninety days of prayer, twenty-four-seven, crying to you over Kenya, not leaving anything to the devil. Hakuna kitu tunachia shetani for God. God Almighty dwells in the midst of his praises, dwells in the midst of his praises. This morning we choose to praise you, exhort you, adore you, Jehovah, magnify you, O God Almighty, for you reign. Oh, Rema Kota Namasete Arabanda, you reign, you as your Zion's king. Kados, Kados. You are mighty on your throne. Yes, you are mighty this morning. You reign above our challenges. Above our challenges, Jehovah, you reign. Above our challenges, you reign. Above our personal needs, you reign. We exalt you above everything we need. 
koko na babo setaya we exalt you above everything we need juu ya mahitaji yetu wewe ni mungu we honor you this morning you reign you as the zion's king as the zion's king kados kados you are mighty on your throne 5:58 in the morning seated in Kenya commanding the power of God all over the world praying beyond boundaries <laughs> praying beyond boundaries exalting the king of kings and the lord of lords beyond boundaries <laughs> transformation taking place in the lives of the peoples beyond boundaries <laughs> enjoying the mighty move of god beyond boundaries <laughs> enjoying the exceeding power of god beyond boundaries <laughs> enjoying the exceeding power of god for the year 2024 beyond boundaries exalting the holy one of israel beyond boundaries <laughs> leading people to honor jehovah beyond boundaries <laughs> leading people to pray for kenya beyond boundaries pakaya <laughs> you reign You Asian Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh You are mighty on your throne and because you are mighty Jehovah This morning who has irriganishwa na chochote kile It is six in the morning Who has irriganishwa na chochote kile kama kuna majina kuu majina mengi under the face of the earth hakuna jina laweza liganishwa na Mungu wetu Worthy is your name lord Worthy is your name O God. Worthy is your name O Jesus. YouTube image may behave in a way cunning. I'm trying to change it in a kata. So dear ones, all that I know is that you are getting it. Easy gadgets zetu. But right now I do not have my media team it's valley in the morning. I've seen how it is. I've seen how it's behaving. Hallelujah. But we have a God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can think or even imagine. We have a God anayeshughulika kwa mambo yote. We have a God who is concerned of our lives. And this morning we choose to honor him for who he is. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. It is a beautiful morning ladies and gentlemen. 3 minutes past 6. The grace of God has brought us this far. Dear ones, <clears throat> Muslim pray. And they keep repeating repetition prayers. 
He do spray. They keep repeating. Atu wengi kuludia maombi. What should we know about prayer so that we can do it with understanding? What should we know about prayer as we pray for our nation? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, from the book of Judges, chapter 21, verse 25. From the book of Judges. Hallelujah. Judges 21 and verse 25. <clears throat> when God was ignored and everyone did what was right in their own eyes. The Bible records of kind of ignorance when God was ignored, when God was assumed. Na watu wakafikilia kufanya chochote kile wageta kufanya. And the same is happening in many nations, and Kenya is not an exception. So much happening in our beloved nation. The fear of God has been exchanged. The worship of God has been exchanged, ladies and gentlemen. What to anafanya many people doing what they want. And the prophets of God are assumed. And the word of God has been assumed by many. <coughs> Criticism is going very high. Inaeneda bali na ju zaidi. The church of God is not being honored for what is supposed to be. The church of Christ. The church has been ridiculed. God ignored by many. And people are worshipping passions, what they want. From the glorious past when we cried to God, and he came through for us. We need to call God and walk the talk to enjoy his goodness. We need to turn back to God. There is heavy punishment going to some people. Sade dio niliweza kuelewa zaidi. Johnny from Sichels. I've never seen someone watching me from Sichels. I'm happy. God bless you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen. Niliweza kuelewa. When God spoke through his servant. That what wa bariki huduma yenye nikonai. And true to it, we needed a breakthrough in a way. But I saw ridicule of people saying, si mungu. I saw ridicule of people saying why, why people are harassed financially. I saw, I saw ridicule. And I keep saying, ladies and gentlemen, giving is a revelation. Honoring God is a revelation. Acknowledging God is a revelation. Ukia mtu wakikuliza kwa nini uliamuka mapema kweda kujiunga na mimi hapa. Why are you here this morning? It is a revelation. The reason why you are here this morning it is because this is a revelation. It, it is out of revelation that you are here. It is out of revelation that you are connecting with me here. It is revelation. And so we are praying for Kenya. And we read the scripture. 
Jeremiah 29 verse 7. When Kenya prospers, we prosper. Economy ya Kenya ikibadirika na maisha yetu inabadirika. Tunapoobea Kenya, amani inaendelea. Kwa wale muko bali na Kenya, and you are Kenyans. And others are not Kenyans like God. Some people who are not Kenyans and they pray for Kenya. When you pray for other nations, the Lord is also turning around yours upside down. Jeremiah 29 and verse 7. God was speaking through the mouth of Jeremiah. Na mungu wakasema ya kwamba, tell the people of Israel. Today it is telling the people of Kenya, wherever you are. I'm excited. Thank you, Lucy, in Saudi Arabia. I'm excited. Jane Blessed, I'm excited to see all of us. My neo Bari Bali, Beatrice, I'm excited. Susan Selvenanga, I'm excited to see all of us. Kimemia, I'm excited. Nyinyi wote. At least last week I made sure ni metaja kalibu wote. <clears throat> but listen to this. Jeremiah 29 and verse 7. Today the word is for Kenya. Today the word is for us. For sexuality. Today hii neno ni yetu. Also seek the peace and the prosperity. Seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Mungu alikuwa naambia Jeremiah, tell these people. Mutafute amani na kuenea. Kwa taifa yenye nimewaweka huko. Pray to the Lord for it. Because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Pray for the prosperity of Kenya. If Kenya prospers, we are also prospering. If Kenya is at peace, we are living at peace. If Kenya kuna mvua ya neema, na sisi wote tuna enjoy neema. And ladies and gentlemen, it is the word of God. And God honors his word more than his name. Second Chronicles 7, 14. God spoke na mungu wakasema ya kwamba. Mukiona, verse 13, mukiona kuna mambo hayenedi vema katika taifa lenu. Mukiona kuna bingu ine kaka kama imefungwa. Mukiona kuna mambo yenye haiendelei if you see their hindrances if you see they are, they are, they are like doors that are closed if you see there is no rain if you see you are not prospering if you see mukiona hamuenei then second chronicles 7:14 if my people who are called by my name says jehovah who are the people called by the name of god Ni watu wangapi hawa? Ni watu kina nani? Wale wameitwa kwa jina la Mungu. Who are the people called by the name of the Lord? It is you and me. Who are the people who are called by the name of the Lord? Ni watu wang... ni nani ameitwa kwa jina lake Mungu? Ni wewe na mimi. And now the Bible says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves. Kwa hivyo kuna kunyanyekea. And pray, this is God's principle. Prayer is not an option, ladies and gentlemen. Prayer is a necessity. Prayer has the power to change the course of nations. Prayer has the power to turn your life upside down. Prayer has the power to heal you. Prayer has the power to heal your finances. I got into church on Sunday, Nikiwa Nadet. Ya kanisa. Ya mipango ya nilikuwa nayo. Nilitoka the same church. It was the end of our 21 days of praying and fasting. I left the same church. Everything settled. Prayer has the power. I didn't say I didn't tell the servant of God. Hakuna mutu. I didn't tell like Bishop Arizon ya kwamba. Na ukituona tukona deni. Tukui mambo tumepanga leo hatuku hata na budget. We didn't have money to do this. I didn't tell him. I didn't tell anyone. Preachers who came, they didn't know. The members of the church are wakujua wengi. But the people in the office knew. I knew what I needed. 
I knew but I went forth nimekuwa naomba ninaombea wengine na bariki wengine in the course of praying for others adoring God almighty prayer has the power to change circumstances of life God raised people and by the time nilikuwa natoka kanisani jioni ile debt nilikuwa nayo ya kanisa was sorted What did you do Agojiri I prayed to God I was praying I was lifting God because prayer has the power to change circumstances of life prayer has the power to change your heart Prayer has the power to change your understanding, to change your attitude. Prayer has the power, ladies and gentlemen. God, Mungu ameongea na kusema. It is now 6:14 in the morning. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray. Prayer is a principle of God. It is God's principle. He ordained it that way. Yakoba if we want anything under the face of the earth anything we want we access it from the almighty through prayer we access it through prayer anything we need anything we want chochote kile tunahitaji ulimwengu huu we access it through prayer it is god's principle mungu alipanga hivyo yakoba chochote kile tunahitaji mwirole sami we access it through prayer when we pray prayer is not an option it is a necessity we access the supernaturals when we pray we access it when we pray na kama kuna kitu unapata na huombi somebody prayed for you prayer yes bitris mugai changes the circumstances of life Ch prayer changes what is not enough into enough the passport to the world of impossibilities prayer unites prayer gives peace prayer gives joy prayer the bible says if my people you and i who are called by the name of the lord i need some water i need some water to drink water with lemon if my people who are called by my name says jehovah na mimi wale wameitwa by the name of God ni wewe na mimi will humble themselves and pray and seek my face what is to seek seeking ni kutafuta seeking is daily seeking is daily thing it is coming to God is reading his word kusoma neno lake kumwabudu Mungu seeking it is continuous it is continuous this there has to be consistency there has to be consistency in seeking our god ladies and gentlemen we seek the face of god we turn from our wicked ways if you know and you know that that thing you do it is not pleasing to god turn from it ladies and gentlemen the days of judges when people did what they wanted what was fit in their eyes but the grace of god failed to flow for the grace of god to keep flowing in our lives dear ones let us turn from our wicked ways then mungu anasema this is god speaking this is not somebody speaking on his behalf it is god speaking because god speaks through his word na nasema ya kwamba then i will hear from heaven why from heaven because god dwells in his holy throne in heaven makori ya dababosa taya mungu ameketi kwenye kiti cha enzi biguni but he is with us through the holy spirit kupitia roho wake mtakatifu he is everywhere brickman properties minister jenga unanisikia pastor susan are you hearing what i'm saying he dwells among us through his spirit But God dwells in heaven. Na Biblia anasema God himself anasema nini yegomo igwa ni mimi nitawasikia. Mimi this is what you need to do. He's giving us the procedure. He's giving us the pro how do we the protocols of approaching God. The protocols of being heard by the almighty God and he's telling us if my people we are the people who are called by the my name says Jehovah. We are the ones called by the name of the Lord. 
will humble themselves. What is to humble? Being able to control the power within. What is hum humility? Usione wengine wakiwa wakuku, usijipeleke juu ya watu wengine kujiona. Usijisikie, usione kile ukonacho kama ni wewe umefanya upate. Usione ya kwamba you, the way you talk it's because of your wisdom. It is because of your qualifications. The way you live it's because of your money. Ah uh ah, -uh. the way you live sio kwa sababu ya pesa yako. The way you are famous wa gojiri, it is not because ya pesa yako. It is be not because of you. It is because of God. Humility causes people to humble, to acknowledge. Humility causes people to acknowledge that all that I am, it is because of God. Humility causes people to recognize that mimi hata kuwa mahali huku mungu alinileta huku South Africa purity ni mungu. Mimi huku mungu ameniweka huku ni Jehovah ameniweka. Humility causes people to acknowledge. Ya kwamba mimi ukiniona huku kata. Mimi ukiniona huku Saudi Arabia. Mimi ukiniona huku Dubai. Mimi huku Kuwait. Ile mambo inaendelea huku. Mimi huku Afghanistan. Ile mambo inaendelea. Ile mambo inaendelea anga huku Lebanon. Ni mkono wa mungu umenishikilia. Ile mambo inaendelea anga huku Russia. Ile mambo inaendelea anga huku Seychelles. Sichos, hii mambo inaendelea anga huku London. Ukiona mambo ukijua yale inaendelea Germany, lakini mkono wa Mungu umeniweka. Acknowledging the heart of God. <clears throat> when we acknowledge the heart of God upon our lives, that is humility. When I, you acknowledge ya kwamba me the way I look, ni Jehovah, mane guy. <clears throat> that is humility. <clears throat> when you acknowledge your office uko when you, un you acknowledge your pesa uko nayo when you acknowledge mahali uko 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 unaka america uko australia immaculate uki acknowledge ya kwamba mimi hapa niko ni jehova that is humility when you acknowledge that ile pesa niko nayo ni mkono wa mungu sio kujitahidi unajua mimi naedaga kazi mara ngapi no 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 unajua niko na kazi gapi no 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 it has nothing to do with your money it is the heart of God. When we acknowledge the heart of God upon us, that is humility. Proud people don't worship God. Proud people don't adore God. Proud people don't count their blessings. Wanafikiria ni wow. It is their job. It is their money. It is their fame. It is their salaries. It is their business is doing well. Proud people don't acknowledge the heart of God over their lives. But ladies and gentlemen, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves <coughs> and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, Jehovah Nasema, Muki Badirika, Muki Nitegemea, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal your Lord. This morning, I want us to declare, we have 10 more minutes. This 10 more minutes, we are declaring healing in our land. Hallelujah. We are declaring healing in our land. How many knows when there is healing in our land? Ata watoto wetu wanasoma vema. How many knows when there is healing in the land? These issues of LGBTQ, you know, you know, hii mambo ya homosexuality inakwama. Gumu za giza zinakwama. Tunatoboa watu wanashidwa hao. Nasi tunasema ni mkono wa mungu. Umenibeba. You know, it is when we acknowledge God over our lives. It is when we turn to him and repent. It is when we call Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me. The principle of calling was established by God. Why? Because there has to be a way how when the creation communicates to the creator and it is through this word of God and us calling. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Job 12, 23 to 25. God, he makes nations great and destroys them. He enlarges nations and disperses them. 
It is God who makes nations great. <laughs> it is God who also does what he destroys. No way of kagia. He enlarges them. And at the same time he can disperse them. It is God. We ought to live well. Ladies and gentlemen. We ought to know. God live well. Call unto him. Live for him. Trust in him. Hallelujah. And the Bible is telling us as we pray for the nation. First Timothy, chapter number two, first one to two. Timothy Awabere Igere, one to two. I urge then this is Paul full of the Holy Spirit. Remember Paul Alisimama Katika Kamisa La Garatia Kawambia. The grace I have, the anointing I have, the wisdom I have, the way I talk, I never received it. The, the anointing I have, I never received it from anyone. But I got it from God for you. I am here this morning, a humble woman of God, telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Mukiwa Maineo Bali Bali, as you hold on to God, Joyce and Daniel, over your son going to hospital, as you hold on to God who is doing exceedingly abundantly. As you hold on to God. Let us do the first things first. The anointing that I have was given by God. For who? For me, for himself. For us to be transformed. And the Bible says, First Timothy 2, 1 to 2. I urge then, first of all, that the petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people. St starting with, for kings, and not those in authority. Who is the king of this nation? Dr. William Ruto. That's why we always pray for those in leadership. We pray for him. When we pray for the president, Usaidi president by failing to pray for him. Akona watu wengi wanamuombea. Their family wakona sakos. The who prays which day. When we are praying for the president, we are not helping him. We are helping ourselves. Wakati tumebeba mziko wakuombea raisi. Hatusaidi. Tisita muombea. Even if we fail to pray. God has raised people when you to Jew to pray for them. Mimi ni najurikana ni naomba kwa sababu nakuja hapa life. There are so many people who don't come life pray. They don't do what I, God told me to do. Ni mungu aliniabia inuka kama Deborah. Come every, every morning. Lead people in this prayer. Prophetic morning glory. Kuna wengi wenye hata wajui kukonect hizi na unaona YouTube lewa imeenda ime hivo. YouTube ime turn upside down. But you keep following. After we are done, we will change, we will upload from Facebook to YouTube it's all, as well. Dear ones, there are many people who are right now, wako prayer centers, praying. And they are praying for him. The Bible says you first pray for the kings. And not those in authority. When we pray for him, when we pray for the deputy president, when we pray for the CSS, the PSS, when we pray for the governors, the deputy governors, our senators, women reps, M women reps, MPs, MCAs, county commissioners, when we pray for those in the government reigning, when we pray for Askariwetu, when we pray for judiciary, when we pray, dear ones, for the... Chief Justice, na watu wake wote in judiciary, when we pray for the people who lead us. Our chiefs, yani unakana hujewa yobea chief wenu. Na unesema nga kwetu, itora litori ya rehana, our village, it's because you don't pray for our chiefs. When you pray for our MP, anabadirika, umusaidi, usisema ti na musaidia sana nikioba, aa niwe unajisaidia. When you pray for your governor, niwe unajisaidia, deputy governors. When you pray for your senator, nisisi tunajisaidia. When we pray for those in government, nisisi tunajisaidia. Bibi nasema ya kwamba, we pray for those in authority, the king and those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives. When we pray for them, we live peaceful and in quiet lives, in all godliness and holiness. Kube nisisi tunajisaidia. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Heavenly Father, 
we are in agreement this morning. According to the call, Second Chronicles 7.14, we are the people called by your name. And now in our prayers this morning, God, come we come back to declare that President Ruto will walk in the fear of God. The wisdom of God will flow over his life. The protection of God is his portion. Protection from evil. Protection from attacks of the enemy. The wisdom of God will cause him to lead Kenya in wisdom. Father, grant him your grace today. Deputy President, grant him your wisdom, the knowledge of God, peace and divine health. Have your way today. Their spouses, Jehovah intervene. The cabinet secretaries and the permanent secretaries, Jehovah have your way that they may walk and serve in wisdom and in the fear of God. Preserve them for yourself. Heavenly Father, the government, those who are working in the government offices, that they may serve in the fear of God, that they may serve in the fear of God. We pray for Kenya, fear of God in Kenya, fear of God in the government, fear of God in the county government, fear of God in the judiciary, fear of God in schools, fear of God in hospitals. Madaktari wa heshimu mungu. Imabo ya watu kufuanya tests, na unajua they don't, haitajiki. Exaggerating the costs because kuna madaktari kile wanataka ni kutajirika. They are not concerned with the lives of people. Father in heaven, we exhort you in hospitals. We exhort you that you reign in the lives of doctors. Jehovah, let there be the fear of God in the name of Jesus. We call unto thee. We turn to you in humility. We turn to you in repentance. That you reign over our nation, Jehovah. Reign over our nation. Reign over our scaries, O Jehovah. Our security. We declare our security. Oh God in your hearts. That it is well with our, our seers, our security, Jehovah. It is well, Jehovah. It is well with Kidika Kidure. It is the Kidiki. It is well, Jehovah. Uh, with Adendware. It is well with the people around them. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well, my God, with our OCPDs and, our, and OCSs. It is well with our traffic police. It is well, Jehovah. It is well, Jehovah, on the road. It is well kwa kichaka wale wanarida. It is well in the borders, O oh Jehovah. It is well wale wanaangalia anger. It is well, Jehovah, our soldiers. It is well. We declare the peace of Kenya. We declare the stability of Kenya. As you called Jeremiah, Jehovah, you told him for the peace of a nation, O oh God, for the peace of the place you have positioned us, that we should pray. Jeremiah 29, 7, we pray for the peace of Kenya. We pray for the prosperity of Kenya. We pray for the prosperity of Kenya, that we, it may be prosperous. And as Kenya prospers, we prosper. We pray for the neighboring nations. We pray for your power over our lives. We pray that you stretch forth your heart. Keep us safe. I can't saw accidents and incidences around the, Lord, the roads. I cancel powers of darkness. I pull down strongholds in the name of Jesus. I frustrate together with these people. Tunakubaliana. Guvu zote za giza. Katika jina la Yesu. Zinakwisha sahim. Zinakwisha sahim. We command the powers of darkness to die. We frustrate the evil schemes of the devil. We frustrate the strategy of the devil over Kenya. In the name of Jesus. We declare a decree. Supernatural protection. Supernatural Supernatural provision, supernatural provision, supernatural grace, supernatural security. Jehovah, preserve Kenya. We arise against the spirit of sorcery, witchcraft, operating in this nation. We frustrate in the name of Jesus. We come everywhere to Natangaza Maeneo Yote Kenya. Mahali witchcraft. Ah, Urogi na Uchawi. Katika Jina la Yesu. We pre bring down. We pull down. We frustrate. We bring down. We frustrate. We bring down. We frustrate evil schemes of the sorcerers, of the witchcraft in our nation in the name of Jesus. And we declare a supernatural move of God. As the blood of Jesus flows, the blood of Jesus flowing in our lives, in our families, in the schools, in all the learning institutions, 
in the offices za, 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 za education in the name of Jesus yes ministry of education yes everywhere in the name of Jesus in hospitals ministry of health father everywhere everywhere every government every 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 ministry Jehovah the power of God reigns there is evil happening there are lies happening there is hypocrisy in our nation there is so much evil bribery there is so much evil in my nation this morning in Jesus name tunaugama katika jina la Yesu tunaomba kwa sababu kuna nguvu katika maombi we've pulled down powers of darkness we frustrate agendas of the devil we frustrate agendas of the devil over our nation and we command evil to die Jehovah it is only your purposes that will prevail in our nation. It is only your purposes. It is only your purposes that will prevail. It is only your purposes. As we continue praying for Kenya, 24-7 prayer watcher, watches. Jehovah Kenya in your hearts. Every county in your hearts. Every man in Kenya in your hearts. Women in Kenya in your hearts. The youths in your hearts. Spirit of homosexuality, drugs addiction, Father in heaven, intervene and do only that which you can do. Parents are in tears. Parents are in tears over their children. Father, preserve our children. Preserve our children. There is so much evil. Preserve our children. Preserve us, Lord. And now we surrender the day to you. As we continue in prayer, we surrender the day to you. We surrender the day to your hearts. We surrender the week in your hearts. When our end magician matanga ukawalide comfort them. We are going for our Madame Liz Wanyoike's funeral. Comfort the family. While I want to feel water, Kenya, he comfort them abroad, comfort them, Jehovah. Those who are trusting you for very for financial breakthroughs come through for your people. Those who are trusting you for their spouses to know you come through for their people. Those who are trusting you for healing come through for your people. I declare total wellness. While I come hospital in Aquamanuba, Jehovah, have your way. Father, those who are trusting you for the peace of God, may this peace that surpasses all human understanding come to your people this morning. And now shield us with the blood of Jesus. Shield us, God, every part of Kenya. Shield us, every part of Africa. Shield us, Jehovah, with the blood of Jesus. Let there be a Jerry cover. Shield us, oh God, and our families. She who does every part of Asia, she who does in the blood of Jesus every part of America, she who does in the blood of Jesus every part of Asia, Europe, every part of Canada, every part of Australia, every part of North and South America, she who does in the blood of Jesus. Angels, ensure we are safe from evil, from harm. Protection, protection, I declare to you, ladies and gentlemen. Mungu ni naemtumikia mungu mkua kawalide na kuwa hifadhi. Mungu ni naemtumikia mungu asie shindo wa kawalide na kuwa hifadhi. Jehovah Romo gitera Romo hota nera Romo roa gerera. And the grace of God takes us to higher levels. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is well. It is done. It can never be otherwise. You have told us, Jeremiah 33, 3, again we call unto you. Kule tunafanya kazi, our businesses will flourish. Our jobs, our organizations will flourish because your heart is upon us. We honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. 
Amen. And amen. You're there, you're not born again. You do want to receive salvation. Pray with me. Come out, Jao Koka. Say, my son, Tiesu. I receive your salvation this morning. Help me to live for you from today. Amen. With that prayer, your name is now written in the book of life. From that prayer, the heart of God is upon you as a believer. I would want to help you understand salvation. I would want to help you know God. The amount you know, what you know about God will shield you, will sustain you. What you know about God, kile unajua about God, will sustain you. So, tunakuadikia namba pale YouTube, Facebook, Kama YouTube we are going to change what we have in Facebook for those who will come later. What you know about God will sustain you, will preserve you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Thank you, dear ones, for joining me. Thank you, dear ones, for being here. Thank you so much for believing in the God that I serve. The Lord bless you and keep you. You prayed with me for last Sunday. It was so powerful. So powerful. And if you missed, you can watch it. YouTube and Facebook. The Lord bless you and keep you as you progress this day and the days to come. <clears throat> the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious. To you the lord turn his face towards you and give you peace now and always in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit we pray amen and amen see you again tomorrow morning 5 30 to 6 30 keep praying for me as i pray for you keep praying for our nation we are the beneficiaries when we pray for this nation. I am Evangelist Lucy Wagojiri. God will never let you go. God will never let Kenya go. Shalom. <laughs>